Since he started using a solar-powered potter's wheel in Mudhera village in October, Kesa Bhai Prajapati's production has almost doubled. Time was up again. I can make more pots in less time now. Earlier it took a lot of effort to rotate the wheel manually, but now it runs on power. Solar lamps are helping children study longer hours in the evening. Mudhera in western Gujarat state is India's first village to be powered completely by solar energy, generated by hundreds of rooftop panels on homes and government buildings. This is the latest example of how the world's third largest carbon emitter is increasing big and small green energy projects. Experts say, though, that the pace needs to pick up to meet the target of generating half the country's energy needs through non-fossil fuels by 2030. While we are on the right direction, we are on an annual basis adding more and more non-fossil fuel capacity, but it's still falling short of the 30 gigawatt of annual capacity addition required. So definitely there is a space to add much more than what we are doing currently. Even as green energy gets a boost, hundreds of towns continue to be smothered in smog as India steps up coal production to power homes and industries. Gripped with searing heat this summer, it gave coal mines the green signal to increase output. New coal mines are being auctioned to enhance production for domestic use. The reason is that the country's energy needs are growing faster than anywhere in the world as its economy grows and more people join the middle class. Officials have said there will be no transition away from coal in the foreseeable future. Experts say India faces a genuine dilemma in balancing its climate goals with its development needs. We need to look at how economy is bouncing back. Uh, demand has been growing and we've also seen even incidents of heat wave added to the more uh, demand for electricity because people started using uh, air coolers and air conditioning much more. The disruption in the world's energy markets this year also made it harder for India to wean itself off coal. Because of the Russia-Ukraine war or because of the COVID-19, from the energy security perspective, um, all countries, including India, has started looking inwards and start to exploit more and more of its domestic resources. And India is endowed with domestic coal. So definitely there has been in the last few months uh, more emphasis on increasing the use of coal. India's rising dependence on coal could pose a challenge in achieving its target of net zero carbon emissions by 2070 that is critical for tackling global climate change. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi.